Hi there boys and girls, welcome to our vodcast on reflexes and reflex arcs. Now in order to understand why we have reflex arcs hardwired into our bodies, what you need to know is what a reflex is. And if we take a look at the top here, we'll see that there's the definition of a reflex. Now a reflex is an automatic response to a particular stimulus. And the reason why we have these automatic responses built into our bodies is because they typically are used to help protect us from something dangerous. All right, some things that might be dangerous could be maybe stepping on something sharp or putting your hand or foot or arm or something on an object that's super hot. Okay, so as we know, we can injure ourselves on things that are sharp by cutting ourselves open and then allowing pathogens in. If you put a body part on an extremely hot object like a grill or a stove top, then you obviously know you can get badly burned. And those are things that we don't want to have happen to us because they're injurious. They're going to injure our bodies and they're not much fun, to be honest with you. Reflexes are quick and they're what are called involuntary, which means they're automatic. So they're going to happen. Um, and they happen probably faster than you can actually realize that they're going to happen. One example of a reflex that you're probably familiar with is what's called the patellar reflex. If you've ever gone to the doctor and they've taken out a hammer, a specialized hammer for your patellar reflex, you probably notice that they've taken this hammer, pulled it back, and then hit you square in the knee with it. Now they don't hit you in the kneecap, they hit you in the tendon right underneath the kneecap. Your kneecap is the patella, so the tendon that attaches it to muscle Okay, it's called the patella tendon. And when they hit this tendon, you'll notice that your leg kicks out. It moves outwards. And that's a reflex that happens. You can try to stop it, but if the doctor hits it with enough force in the right spot, your leg is automatically going to kick, and you can't keep from doing that because it's an automatic response. So that's what a reflex is. Now, let's talk about the reflex arc. Your reflex arc is a pathway of neurons that a stimulus takes going from detecting a dangerous stimulus to processing the dangerous stimulus and then doing something about the dangerous stimulus. So in our example here we have a pin going into a finger and as we know fingertips have a lot of nerve endings so they're super sensitive so anything that pokes them are going to be pretty painful. In this picture we have the pin going into the finger and your sensory receptors in your fingertips that detect hot and cold, pressure, and pain are going to start to fire, especially the pain receptor. As this pin goes into the finger, it's going to trigger a, an impulse, which is the electrical signal that's fired by neurons, and send it down this series of neurons. So this starburst is going to represent our stimulus. Okay, so this electrical impulse is going to travel down this pathway here. Now, this pathway is made up of a bunch of neurons called sensory neurons. Now, that's kind of easy to remember because you sensed the stimulus. You sensed the pain. So that pain message is being sent down through these nerves by the sensory neuron. Okay, so your stimulus or the message is going to be sent down into the spinal cord. And your spinal cord is actually going to make a decision. It's going to create a response. And the reason being is this. You don't want to spend time waiting for your brain to process the pain, analyze and process that your hand is on something sharp or hot, and then think about what you're going to do about it. Because at that time, you can have a really bad injury or hurt yourself pretty badly. So what's going to happen is this impulse is going to travel down your sensory neurons and then interact with a group of neurons in your spinal cord called interneurons. Now the interneurons are the neurons in the middle of this reaction, kind of like how an intersection is where different streets meet. Well, the interneurons are where the sensory neurons meet, the final pair of neurons. So now that your interneuron has come up with a decision and a response, it's going to send that message out along this wire of neurons. And these neurons are called motor neurons. And as you can tell, the motor neurons are hooked into muscle fibers. Your muscle fibers are going to cause a movement. Motor means movement. So your motor neurons are going to send a movement message out to your muscles and then as we can see here, your hand, or the finger rather, contracts, pulls away from the sharp pin and thus no longer having this pain message sent in. So in other types of reactions, if you put your hand on something hot, your spinal cord is going to send a message out to your muscles through the motor neurons to pull your whole entire hand and arm away. Now, this happens so quick, when it does, your brain doesn't process it immediately. 
If you think about every time you've gotten burned by touching something hot, you'll notice that you've pulled your hand away from it, looked at it, and then suddenly that pain message starts to flood your brain and then maybe you start running your hand under cold water, you start shaking your hand, um, doing something to relieve the pain. Imagine if you had to wait for that whole event to happen in order for you to pull your hand away. You could have a pretty bad injury, even worse than you sustained already. So reflexes are really quick. They don't necessarily go to the brain, but the messages will eventually get sent to your brain so you realize what has happened. All right, reflex arc summary. One, a stimulus is detected by sensory neurons and sends an impulse to the spinal cord. In this case, the stimulus is pain. Second of all, the interneurons in your spinal cord receive the impulses and send out a response to a muscle or a gland. Okay, in this case, we're talking about muscles because we're moving something. And then lastly, the motor neuron sends a response to a muscle or a gland and then carries out the response. So the response is the muscles contracting, pulling your finger bones away from the pin to keep your hand from getting hurt even worse. Okay, boys and girls, that's reflexes in the reflex arc. I hope that was helpful. Thank you.